Hi everyone and welcome back to a new YouTube video. Now today's video was actually requested by you guys a lot since I've posted actually my top nuts video which I've actually posted months ago but I still get daily comments and I see them and also after posting my last video which was the 15 quads focus exercises uh, you guys were wondering how for God's sake do I get such good ankle mobility and how I am able to squat so deep like you know not just 90 degrees but like as to the grass so I thought why not make a video about this so first and foremost I would like to say I am not a doctor I am not a uh, kinesis if that's the correct word in English I am just here to share my own tips and tricks which have helped me in the past and still help me to keep a good ankle mobility There are basically two big reasons why most people have um, poor ankle mobility. Number one is um, from previous injuries or maybe a surgery you have had to your leg, to your knee, to your ankle, um, which have now caused yeah, this lack of mobility in the ankle. Um, so yeah, it's again something maybe you will have to work twice as hard as someone who has never had a surgery. You know, in the end, if you have had a surgery in a specific area, it will always be a sensitive place. It's, it's just like that. You have to be careful. So yeah, maybe it will just require a little bit more time and work for you. But yeah, I'm sure you can definitely work it up again until you have the full flexibility again in uh, your ankle. So that's actually a very common reason. And then the other reason, number two, is just a general lack of flexibility in the calf muscle. So again, when stretching the calves, uh, foam rolling, etc., you can absolutely solve this problem. You can squat parallel. Parallel, if you don't know what parallel is, parallel, pro, pro, parallel is uh, squatting to a 90 degree angle. So if you have a difficult time to leading a 90 degree angle, because your heels are already uh, coming off the floor, you're bending forwards, mm. It doesn't work for ankle mobility. If you have knee pain during any leg exercise, actually, probably could be caused by previous injury and you haven't taken enough recovery time. But yeah, let's put that aside and let's um, have the person who have never had a uh, surgery yet on the leg area, then probably poor ankle mobility. Well, and then third, if you feel like when you go down in your squat movement, you go into the negative movement and you feel like your, your knees are like, like this, for ankle mobility as well. So those are the three common uh, mistakes you will see in someone uh, who, have, uh, yeah, who has a hard time to squat. And uh, yeah, they all show that you need to take time and work on those holy ankles <laughs> and then also the deeper you squat the more ankle mobility you will need and if you think like oh I will just skip the squats I don't have time I don't want to work on my ankle mobility <laughs> Guess what, bitch? it's not gonna work if your goal is to build legs because you will need a good ankle mobility for basically almost every leg exercise think of squats think of any type of squats think of any type of lunges Split squats, um, even leg press, deadlifts, they all require a good flexibility of the ankle. So you can basically not skip <laughs> you can basically not skip on this video, you know, you just have to watch it and have to try these exercises. Otherwise, you will just need to be happy with chicken legs in your life. I'm just kidding. So for our first exercise, go stand in a shoulder width position or slightly closer. Make sure you have some hand support as well. Then slightly bend through your knees and keep a straight back and try to push your knees forward with constant pulses. Very important here is to keep your heels stick to the floor.
moving on to our second exercise, you will need to bring one leg as far backwards as you possibly can. Also your knee may touch the floor. Then grab the dumbbell and put it on the knee of your front leg. Similar to the previous exercise, so it's really important to keep your heel stick to the floor and drive your knee forward as much as you can. Now for this exercise you will need a resistance band and preferably attach it somewhere to a table leg for instance. As simple as it looks, go sit on the floor with your legs stretched in front of you, then wrap the resistance band around one foot and point your toes up towards you and then slowly return them to starting position. You can also play with different time and tensions if you want and hold it for a few seconds to make it a little more intense. Alright guys, I truly hope you enjoyed watching this video. If it was helpful, as always, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, then lastly, I would also like to mention that I've now officially teamed up with PLF Sportswear. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably have seen uh, coming by some sponsored posts, but now I am officially teamed up with them and I am so happy because TLF their um, brand name stands for Take Life Further, which I absolutely stand behind. I think it's a very beautiful slogan. And besides the fact they offer very beautiful sportswear, it's also super affordable comparing to um, some other big brands. So actually a big win-win if you ask me. Now, if you want to have a look on their website, I will put the link in the description box down below. I also do have a discount code, which you can find there as well. By the way, this is one of their newest sports bras. Super beautiful. I really like the neon green yellow <laughs> detail. And then you get these loose, super comfy shorts. Just in regular black.